tutorial 88 and inventor in the previous tutorial we inserted those parts on this assembly file and now we are seeing that they are randomly positioned here so we need to reposition them according to the shape or how do you want to see them for example you can see the position menu here so there is the first or the pre-positioning or the primary positioning and then there is the constraint position in this tutorial we're going to show you the primary positioning that is before adding the constraint which will be in the next tutorial so the primary uh, positioning is just to get your parts in place for example when we created this part we choose the plane to be to give the part this positioning but for example if that disk was on flat so you need to get to rotate it to be easier for assembly and that the inventor recognize the constraint so for example we know how to rotate the whole files from the beginning when you press on the mouse wheel shift so you are able to rotate all part if you click on one part you are able to move it for example we can make them closer to the wheel and also when you can move it you have here the move option so when you select move so you are, without selecting any part you are able to move that for example to select it then move so you are able to move it without clicking on it so let's select this part or uncheck move then select another another part click move so you are able to move it and if you click control select multiple part then move you are able to move two parts so now we could move the parts now we are able to rotate the simple part for example let's select this disk and rotate it so you are able to rotate the disk now we place it in that position and let's position the connector closer to be ready for adding the constraint 